Hello everybody, <clears throat> and in this video, I'm going to be doing the underdrawing for a, a cover for a small game. It's going to be a, a rules light game called Good, Fast or Cheap. It's going to be in zine format, so small A5 game. Uh, a role-playing game, I should point out, just in case anybody's confused about that. And... It's going to be an entry for the Pocket Quest 2023 games event, competition. I'm not exactly sure if it is a competition or not. And uh, this is going to be my entry. There are six weeks to go. <clears throat> I've, I've spent the last two weeks... Oops, it is. I've spent the last two weeks doing... Uh, Writing rules, basically. I had this. I had the idea for all of the system and all of the stuff, and it came to me uh, literally in a dream. And oh, I cannot talk and write at the same time. It came to me literally in a dream. The uh, the basic the basic system for it. And because of that, I thought it would be good to hang on to and wait until there was a, an opportunity to make it into a thing. So now there is, and I'm using the opportunity. So the job I'm doing today is, this is my A4 sketchbook. And this is the, I've, you can see here oops, on, on the facing page, I've done thumbnails. These are, this is a study of a, of a pulp adventure magazine cover. Um, these are some ideas for how I might like to uh, arrange my composition. So I think that was the, that was the winner. This is a color study that I did with colored pencils. This is a study of some of the lettering. I'm going to, I'm going to hand paint the lettering because I want to do this in uh, an early 20th century style. <clears throat> so I'm going to use early, early 20th century techniques and materials. That means gouache mainly. And uh, there's some more, some more practices of like where to put the lettering. I decided I wasn't really satisfied with that. It didn't have the, the magazine, the magazine sort of look to it. And now I come to doing the underdrawing, the underdrawing for the, this is going to be the, like the, this is the dress rehearsal. This is my test run of lay, the whole layout, the whole color. I'm going to use watercolors because that's what I have to hand right now. My gouache set is somewhere else. And, you know, so I've done a lot of preparation for this, more than I often do. Hopefully that will mean that the result is commensurately better. <clears throat> so job number one is doing the title because stuff is going to go behind it. And so I want to make sure that it is good and legible. The game is going to be themed. The theme for Pocket Quest is is uh, space, you know, outer space. And it imme immediately made me think of, uh, you know, pulp adventure magazines where you have astronauts uh, doing improbable things with you know, funky ideas about what a, a, a spacesuit might be. Uh, something that could have a title like I don't know, Space Vixens of Mars, or the real Edgar Rice Burroughs kind of stuff. I think that stuff is an interesting theme to use, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Oh, 
oops, I'm getting off topic there. I need to be more careful. So this is a very rough layout, but even still, even still, I want to apply, you know, some kind of brain power, you know, actual thinking about it. And I'm just... I don't want to let myself down. I want to work hard on this and do a good job. I've half asked so many things. So at the moment, I don't have my my major games commissions. I don't have the the briefs through on on those. Um, I've got things coming up, but they haven't come up yet. Which means I've got weeks to deal with this sort of stuff, and I can actually spend, you know, good time, good proper time doing the studies, doing the preparatory work, which hopefully will be the stuff that makes the difference between an, an amateurish and a professional work. I haven't designed a whole game before, I've done bits and pieces. But, uh, I think that's too small. This is why pencils have rubbers. Mistakes are inevitable. Um, or maybe not even mistakes, just things that you find out once you see them that you don't actually prefer. So, I haven't done a whole game before. This will be the first time I do a whole game. Um, in the past, I've done bits of writing, I've done bits of rules, I've done bits of illustrations, I've done a cover, but not anything else. That kind of stuff. But doing the whole thing, soup to nuts, has a, an artisanal... Art, artisanal? Artisanal? I don't like... I don't know where to put the emphasis on that. I don't like artisanal very much. But it has a, there's an appeal to it, to having the whole thing be my work. If I had a working printer, I would have printed out some reference images for this lettering. These uneven thicknesses here, if you're not careful, it looks goofy and childish rather than no, pulpy and fun. It looks like a Pixar design for a fat kid. making reference to the letter R there when I'm drawing the letter P. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. The dog is unsettled this morning. Eh? 
you're having little dog problems. So following my, you can't currently see that, this is the colour study, following the colour study, I, I liked this layout. I drew the lettering first, but I'm actually going to paint it back from the, you know, the farthest part away to the closest part, like you ordinarily do with watercolours. I liked the idea of having this gradient of colour, but having quite a mm, sharp, sharp uh, distinction between the gradient. You know, I guess it's not a gradient then, it's more like fuzzy cell shading. Anyway, I'm going to follow the rest of this, make some small adjustments, and then uh, I'll talk more when it's time to start the colours. At this point, I have finished the uh, the layout stage of the pencil work, and I'm going to take some time to go back to my references and study them, work through them. And what I want to do in particular is I want to refine the lettering, and I want to make sure that it, you know, looks nice, and I want to make sure that it is uh, consistent. And I want to make sure that it uh, serves the purpose, looks the look that I want it to look. I def I need to make some get some more references for twentieth century spacesuits. Um, I need to look at you know moon boots and such like. These are just not detailed enough. These are placeholders. But that said, I don't want to go too much detail because if I go into too much detail. The detail is going to get very small, very obscure, and that doesn't help me. 
because this is going to be twice the size of the actual cover of the actual zine. And yeah, it'll be digital, but you get the idea. You know, I can't get I can't get too fine into the details because if I do, then it'll just become muddy, lost, confusing. Instead of being uh, an understandable detail area, for example, if I was to go into a lot of detail here on these crystals, uh, if I did that, then it would just become like a blob of black lines rather than an understandable object. So that's it for the for the layout stage and next up I will refine the pencils and then we'll get into inks.